There's three mistakes that I see music artists making when it comes to naming your song. It's actually important. We're gonna talk about it in this video. So right here inside my recording studio, the first question that I ask every single music artist when they walk into the door, the first question, it's always this, what's the name of the song? And here's the typical response. It's always like, damn bro, I didn't even think about that. I have no idea. And I'm thinking like, man, I think that's actually an important decision that you should think about as you start writing the song. So what I'm going to break down for you is Three mistakes that I see music artists making. Mistake number one is just naming it something like money. The problem with that is how the hell are you gonna stand out in the crowd of the thousands of other songs that are called money? You want to think of something original even if it's money let's say it's getting to the money i always wanted money trying to get this money let's get this money counting this money you got to throw in some other words with that an example of that on a side note with my clothing line originally we wanted to call it legacy clothing and then when we hit google we found oh legacy clothing is already a thing we can't call it legacy clothing we got to get creative and think of something else so we decided to throw in royal legacy it still was the same vibe that we went for on a side note if you guys want royal legacy clothing you can save 10 percent off using my link in the description so how you fix this is the same thing that we did you start writing a song I would then go to Google and maybe the the melody of the hook that you're writing what are some of the words you're saying then what I would do is start typing some of those lyrics into Google and see if there's other songs named that in a perfect world you would name the song something that's never been done before so to summarize get more creative and try to be original all right mistake two is naming your songs freestyle I look at naming your songs freestyle kind of like when people name their son nick jr and then nick senior nick the third nick the fourth and, and that like give your kids their own identity right so give your song their own identity i'm gonna tell you a quick little story i was shooting a music video for artists in uh muskegon michigan and then i'm doing my vlog and i'm talking to the camera i'm like yo i'm, I'm here with this artist doing a music video for this song and, and i turned to him and i said the song is called Freestyle. I said, bro, you paid money for this beat, you paid money for the studio time, you paid money to shoot this music video, you're way too invested to just call the song Freestyle. I feel like the word freestyle or intro, let's say you bought or got the craziest beat ever and you went insanely hard on the beat. You went crazy on the beat and made this nuts song and it's the first song on your project and you're like i'm gonna call it intro no don't call it intro intro and freestyle they have this stigma of just being some like throwaway shit. just something that you put together real quick it's just some lyrics and you just throw it out there and you call it freestyle you call it intro there's a stigma around it give the song its own identity mistake number three that i see music artists making when it comes to naming their songs is naming it something so random that if someone heard the song and then went to Google or, or YouTube and they were like, what's that, the name of the song? Glock Tuck, Big T-Shirt, Billie Eilish. If someone goes and Googles that, they should find that song. And the name of that song is Billie Eilish, right? Imagine if that song was called Sunshine. When people go around every day, the part that's stuck in their heads is Glock Tuck, Big T-Shirt, Billie Eilish. I would say that song should be called something along the lines of Glock Tuck, but then I wouldn't name it that because bonus tip number four, don't name it something with profanity because you're never going to show up. I've shot music videos for songs called F You. Do you think they struggled and had a hard time with marketing that song or promoting that song or getting ads approved when they tried to promote the music video? Of course they did. Name it something that is not profanity. You want the name of the song to be lyrics in the song. And really, you want it to be named whatever the most catchy part of the song is. I know there's an artist named Nick D and he's got a song called Lollipop. The lyrics is it's all around like Lollipop. So if anyone heard that song and they're like, yo, I like that song of yours. You're like, which one? Uh, the the the, the lollipop one. Boom. What's the name of the song? Lollipop. Or maybe it was actually called Icy Pop. Always have the big picture mindset with being, hey man, it's not just my friends and family and people that know who I am that are going to be looking up my songs. I'm going to go above and beyond out my way every single day to, to market myself. And therefore, there's going to be new people discovering me every single day from the content that I'm creating. So you have to make it as easy as humanly possible for someone to hear one of your songs and then go to Google and look it up and find it. Life is hard. There's a lot of shit that's hard, but naming your songs should not be one of them. If this video helped you out, please give the video a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments. If me and you are sitting down right now, one-on-one, -on -one, talking for an hour, what questions do you have for me that I can help you with 
that I can potentially cover in future videos. I make these videos to help you guys out and I aim to be the guide or the coach that, you know, a lot of music artists that I've worked with ask me to be for them. And I always try to think in terms of like, how can I be as efficient as possible with my time and help as many people as I can? And so that's where YouTube comes in and you can reach people from all over the world. And I can answer your question, but also answer that question for potentially thousands of other people at the same time. Subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time. We out. There's some good sh